Once we find the boat, we'll look for a way to sneak on board. Yeah, if Ten doesn't fuck it up this time. It wasn't Ten's fault. Yes, it was! Mitch died because he... Say one more thing about Ten. I dare you. Guys, there it is. You see anything? The beach, um, a boat, and a, a wood street in the water. That's called a pier. Hmm. Pier. Okay, let's spread out and focus on those areas. Keep your heads low. foot. Omar used to carry around a rabbit's foot. You don't think? We'll take it home. We can give it back to him once we've saved him. Have you ever seen this thing before? No way. Pretty sure I would have remembered an old-timey riverboat. And from where I'm sitting... Looks like that pier is the only way inside. Well, let's see what else is down there. I don't see any obvious place to keep prisoners. Don't boats have brigs? Boat tails. Maybe, but where? Now that, I, I, I don't know. I can see an entrance. Yeah, there's one at the other end of the boat, too. There's a small opening at the top of those closed doorways. AJ and I know how to deal with those. Here has plenty of cover on it. If we're careful, we can sneak in undetected. There are a few on deck, a couple others on the pier. Could be more inside. Wait, I see Violet. Holy shit. This is really it. We found them. There's no good cover leading up to the boat. We're gonna need one hell of a distraction. Walker! Now we just need, what, a dozen walkers? How hard could that be? Maybe not as hard as you'd think. Anything useful? Looks like building material. Furniture. Probably stuff from the train station. Sheet metal, wood, and quite a bit of it. We should have that stuff. They're loading those rafts with supplies. I could cut those loose and just ride them down river. Easy. Huh. Are those torches? Maybe. Why? We could use the fire.
Must have fallen off one of the horses when the raiders came through. Find anything over here? They have horses. Let me see. More torches. Setting the hay on fire would get their attention. Scare the horses, too. We could get on the boat easier that way. Those horses free, we could slow down anyone trying to chase us. We should get out of here before they spot us. We can talk through the plan once we're somewhere safe. What's the plan? Well, they've got guards posted on the pier and the boat. There's no way we can take them all at once. Our only hope is to distract them while we sneak on board. We should burn their stuff. That'd work. We could burn the supplies or the hay they keep for the horses. Whatever we don't burn, we should take. Ruby would love to have the horses. Burn the supplies. We'll take the horses and the hay if we can. Ruby would help with that. She's like a horse whisperer. The fire will lure the raiders away from the boat, and we can sneak across the pier. If anyone sees us, they'll shoot! You remember that guy I told you about? James? He sent in walkers to save us from Lily and Abel. Maybe we could convince him to do it again. If we lead a big enough group of them onto the beach, we can blend in without being seen. Well, hell yeah. Let's find out how much he charges for his services. What about after we get everyone home? I mean, the raiders will just come attack us again. What then? Hide, quick! Stay here. 
I'll see if they know anything that could help us. Drop it. The kids your people stole. Have they been hurt? I don't know what you're... I'm not fucking around. Answer the question. No. No. We need them to fight. They're all okay. Clem, stop! Oh. Hey, Minnie. After the attack, I wasn't sure. I mean, I heard they burned half your school down. Who survived? Ruby? Mitch? Brody? Ten? Ruby and Ten made it. Mitch didn't. And Brody, um, she died. Ten's boots holding up okay? His boots? They're so old, they're more holes than rubber. I duct taped him up the last time I saw him, but that was a while ago. His boots are fine. You're Clementine. The girl who took over after Marlin died. It's weird. I thought everyone would want to lean on their own. I didn't ask to be put in charge. It just sort of happened. Is that the kind of wishy-washy bullshit you say to everyone back home or just me? Excuse me? Abel figured he could talk Merlin into handing everyone over like he and Lily did... ...like they did before. You ruined the whole plan. What are you talking about? Merlin traded you and Sophie like it was nothing. Yeah, and we all survived it. Merlin would have never made them fight the way you did. He wouldn't have gotten people killed. That is some grade-A horse shit. Clem saved us. You know, Minnie, you sound an awful lot like one of them. That's really close to the speech Lily gave me in the woods. It's the truth. Minerva? Where's Sophie? She... She died protecting the Delta. A hero. A hero? God, you... Minerva! Shit. Him. Finish up and head back. I want to be in before dark. Yes, ma'am. Our boat leaves for the Delta in two days. Then it'll be a couple of weeks before we can come back for the rest of you. When we do, don't fight. The only way you're gonna save your people is to let us take them. I'm serious. Don't fight this. It's not too late, Minnie. You could come back to the school with us. No. No, I couldn't. Are you okay? It doesn't change anything. We still have to get onto that boat. You all should head home. Start getting things ready. Get everyone caught up on the plan. Everyone except Ten. I warned you. Enough. Both of you. AJ and I will go find James. Be safe. So, how many walkers do you think James will help us get? 
Fifteen? A hundred? A thousand? Clem, I don't... Ow. Gunshot wound. It feels like someone pinched me from inside. Here, let's rest a second. Clem, I, I keep thinking. When Willie said all that stuff about Tin before, I got so mad. He was being mean, and Tin wasn't even there to defend himself. I wanted to hurt him. I know I shouldn't, but I just can't stop thinking about it. I want to just punch his head. It's okay to get mad at people. You can't help that. But those thoughts have to stay in your head, okay? Don't act on them, ever. Okay. I'm strong. I can control what I do. But not what I think. Like, I think... I think I'm mad at Tin, too. Running out of cover when Lily attacked the school was really stupid. But he just doesn't know stuff like we do. And then Willie started yelling at him instead of helping him learn. Why don't the other kids know all the stuff we know? When there's a plan, you have to follow it. Well, the other kids haven't had it as hard as we've had. We had to make a lot of mistakes to learn what we know. Yeah. I guess. But Tin's mistakes are just so bad. Maybe he'll learn from them too, like we did. It's weird that people are so different. <laughs> it is Erickson's boarding school for troubled youth. Troubled youth? Trouble like bad? So they did bad things? Why? <sighs> okay, um, sometimes they do them because bad things happen to them. I knew a doctor once, back when you were just a baby. He called it trauma. You have some too, you know. The thing where people can't walk up behind you? I don't like my trauma. I want to get it off of me. How do I get rid of it? I don't even like the way the word sounds. You sock it right in the mouth. It has a mouth? <laughs> what I'm saying is that, like everything else in the world, you can fight it. Huh. So, it's like controlling my anger. Almost exactly. I can do that. I still like them. I like Tin the most, I think. Even if he does dumb things. Actually, I think he's my first real friend. Oh yeah? I thought I was your first real friend. Well, yeah, but you don't count. You're old. Am not. Fine. He's my second first real friend. I don't see James, just monsters. <clears throat> James? You're hurt. Did the Raiders do this? It looked like they had people from your school. Why are you here? Those people you saw, we're going to save them. But to do that, we need your help moving some walkers. could maybe help, but my mask is still in the camp, inside my bag. I can't pass through a herd without it. Okay, then let's go get it. Please, I just... I just ask that you don't kill them. The walkers. 
If you distract them, I can sneak over and find my mask. Distract all of them? Please. I'll... I'll try. I can keep this up. Did you find your mask? I can't find it. The horses must have... There! Oh, shit. We have to run. Hey! Over here! AJ! No! There are too many of them! The cart. If we push it, the noise will draw them away. Are you okay? Yeah, no bites. I know it would have been easier to kill them. You're kind. I appreciate it. Really. Thank you for helping me get this back. Now, how will walkers save your friends? They're being held captive on a boat not too far from here. We can't sneak on board without cover, not without the raiders gunning us down. You want to use walkers to hide? To sneak on board their ship? That's insane. It's our only chance. I have something I need you to see. ...so you can understand what you're asking. James! We still need his help, right? Yeah, we do. safe. Just a little further. A wind chime. Might be pretty in our room. Clem, what's this? It's called a salt lake. 
Salt Lake? Ugh, sounds gross. Go ahead, lick it if you want to. <laughs> gross. It tastes nasty. <laughs> well, now you know. Ugh, learning sucks. <sighs> Doesn't look like there's been a horse here in a long time. My people, my former people, they had a practice. They called it collecting. They use them as a weapon. I do this to protect them. I know it sounds strange, but that's why I brought you here. To see them as I do, as people. As people? Well, not people exactly, but <laughs> something in between. Part of us is still in there. Deep down. So few of us die anymore. We turn. Not dead, not alive. God, I hope that's not true. That sounds like hell. To you, maybe. I think it seems... peaceful. Do you really think there's people inside of monsters? Somewhere. Yes. Think about it this way. As someone you cared about turned. Clem's friend, Lee. She let him. Oh, uh, she doesn't like to talk about it. Do you really think there's nothing left of who he was? Maybe. Guess it's kind of nice to think that the something that made Lee, Lee, is still out there, even if it's not the way he was before. I think so, too. I lived among walkers for years. Still do, in a way. When they're alone, they're harmless. Innocent. If you want my help, I need you to try and walk with them. Then tell me if you really believe they're just... monsters. They are just monsters. They're not people or friends. Clem! She'll be safe, I promise. This isn't smart. It's too dangerous. She just needs to move as they do. I'll be fine, AJ. I'm doing this, okay? I... <sighs> okay, fine. The first rule is never go alone. I'm not leaving you. I'll be right back. Check the windows. I will. Remember to breathe. I will. I promise. The mask will disguise your scent. But be gentle. And be quiet. Touch the wind chime. You'll see.
kiddo it's all right i'm fine see no bites no bites so do you still think they're just monsters now that you've seen them at peace i i think you might be right about there being something more to them it was kind of nice in there really never met someone who understood. It's... Thank you. I'm glad. Have you ever killed a walker before? I have. Many. Have you ever killed a person? Many. But that was a long time ago. I've killed someone before, too. AJ. You've killed someone? Yeah. I'm a murderer. But I'm trying to atone. Well, that's good. I guess. <sighs> that's enough. What about the walkers? Are you going to help us save our friends? I thought I could, but I can't. So many walkers would die. All of the death this would cause. I'm sorry, Clementine, but I can't have more blood on my hands. You saved AJ and me because you said you didn't want us to become soldiers. What makes it okay this time? They're going to make all our friends into killers. More violence, more death. And you could have stopped it. I may be stubborn, but I'm not heartless. Those raiders are cruel. They force others to be the same. And if your friends are anything like you, I don't doubt they're worth saving. It'll take some time to guide them through the forest to the shore. Others will join the herd as they go. Tomorrow night, be ready. I can't undo this.
you said there might be people inside walkers. Did you mean it? Is he right? Well, we can't know for sure. <laughs> Maybe he's right. Death might not be like we thought before the world turned like this. Maybe something is left after we die. Well, that sounds weird. But if you believe it, I do too. Come on, AJ. Let's get back before it's too dark. I've never met anyone like James before. I mean, he's tough. Not like you, though. He doesn't kill monsters, but he's not scared of them either. He's cool. Hey, Clem. Willie told me the plan. How'd things go with that guy? James. He agreed to help us. If somebody told me we were gonna sneak onto a boat and a herd of walkers, I'd call them crazy. What are you doing with those? Oh, well, I wanted to throw one last hoot nanny before the big fight. Swear? Huh? <laughs> what the hell is a hoot nanny? <laughs> it's just another way of saying party. I know it sounds strange, throwing a party, but people need something to lift their spirits right about now. This could be her last chance. Mm. I wanted to make some tea for everyone. Could I borrow your little heater thing? What can I do? We need to pretty up the old music room. Could you make us something colorful to hang up? Okay, I'll be an artist. I'm gonna make the deck, uh, uh, the decor. Decoration. A decoration for the party. Okay, I'll get the heater. I like the music, even though it's loud. How's the drawing coming? Can I see? Nope, it's not done yet, but it is pretty good. There, for luck. Are bunnies lucky? Just their feet. We could use a little luck. I'm done, Clem. Come see. Okay, be right there. School pride. Go Erickson. Go where? No, like cheering them on. How do you play with it? You draw pictures like this. <laughs> cool.
Have you ever ridden a horse? Mm-hmm. And I'll teach you to ride someday. Do horses bite? Not usually. Good. I wouldn't want to ride them if they bit me. Hey, you're getting better at this. Soon you'll be as good an artist as Ten. I don't know. He's really good. Something wrong? AJ? I was just thinking about stuff while I was drawing. I don't think I should have watched Abel turn into a monster, Clem. I know I asked, but it gave me a sore throat. What do you mean? I don't know. Like, swallowing was hard. Sounds weird, but it happened. He was a bad guy. I know I shouldn't feel like this. I hated him, too. You're way too little to see so much death, AJ. So much violence. No, I'm big enough. I know I'm big because I think of this stuff now. I care about what I do more. I'm getting real smart. <laughs> Is that right? Yes. Because I'm always thinking all the time. Okay. What are you thinking about right now? You getting bit. Turning into a monster. Oh. Yeah. The older I get, the more I see it. I don't know why. What happens then? Anyone can get bit. That's not happening. You don't know that. No, I don't. But it won't happen anytime soon. You don't know that either. You're just trying to be brave for me. <sighs> it does something weird to my stomach. Like I'm gonna get the dookies. <sighs> AJ, I need to know you remember what we talked about. What you're supposed to do if it happens. Listen to me. If I get bit, you'll... Shoot. No. No, I'm not gonna do that. AJ, you promised. I don't care. I'm not gonna shoot you. If you get bit, I'd want you to bite me too. What? You don't mean that. I don't wanna be alone. Please don't be mad. I can't live with you not with me, Clem. Alvin Jr., you know you're not supposed to talk like this. You're too strong and too brave. I don't think I am anymore about this. Yes, you are. You are, okay? <sighs> you can't break promises, AJ. I know. You're not letting this go, are you? James said... <sighs> Guess not. ...that we could be around when we're monsters. Like on the inside. If you got bit... ...and then bit me... ...then maybe we'd still be together. It would just be a different together. We might even be okay. Let's say James might be right. That monsters have part of the person they were still inside them. The thing is, no one can prove that. And if we can't prove it, we're not going to risk our lives over it. Can I go patrol for a bit? Before the party? Sure, go ahead. Be careful. Hey, little man. Hi, Louis. I'm going on patrol. So, patrolling's a thing? Mm-hmm. Patrolling's a thing. I was wondering... Well, I can't help but thinking... You shot that raider who grabbed me, but you saw them take Violet, too. Which means you could have saved Violet and not me. Why? Why would you pick me? I mean, I wouldn't have picked me. Hell, I don't know anyone who would have picked me. I couldn't let them take you. 
You're too important to me. I know I'm always teasing her, trying to get her to do that one eye roll she does. You know the one, where it's like, you're such a dumbass, she has to do a full body eye roll. I do it because when I actually do manage to make her laugh, it's worth it. If I needed her, she'd be there. Meet Cleaver in hand, ready to chop someone in half if it meant protecting me. Hey, we're going to get them back, Louis. Yeah, damn right we will. Actually, um, that's... <laughs> that's not the only reason I dropped by. Ruby's whole party idea kind of made me realize something. What are you doing? Well, I figured since we might die tomorrow and never get to go on a real date. I thought we could. Damn it. Have one now. I promise I'll keep it short so we can finish getting things ready for tomorrow. Let's do it. I never thought I'd get to go on a date, ever. Really? Never? Have you met you? End of the world or not, someone would have at least tried to sweep you off your feet. <sighs> all right, all right. What? It's true. What do you know about dating, anyway? I'll have you know, I found some magazines in the headmaster's office that had some very interesting things to say about the dating world. Oh, yeah? Like what? Well, like, it said you can tell a lot about someone based on what they look for in a partner. You know, brains, brawn, dashing good looks, great sense of humor, that sort of thing. <laughs> sure, I guess. What, uh, what would you say your thing is? That you look for in a guy? Oh, dashing good looks, no question. Well, luckily I've got plenty of those. Is that why you told me you liked me? You using me for my looks? Huh, I guess we'll never know. I think that deserves a toast. A toast? Don't those usually come at the end? Hey, I warned you I'd make this quick. So, what do you say? To our last night alive. How about to bringing everyone home? Yeah, I think I prefer that one too. <sighs> so, I'll see you over there? Hey, Clem! <laughs> wow, where did you find a beach ball? It was in some garbage behind one of the dorms. I had to blow it up and that was pretty gross, but look, it works. <laughs> I should start heading back to the admin building. It's cool, right? Super cool. <laughs> back! Think fast. Ouch! <laughs> I love you, Clem. I love you back, kiddo. <sighs> okay, we better get ready to go. Sounds like they need us in the music room. Okay. <laughs> 